Good morning. I have a very cute and uh, funny story to share with your children today, and it's entitled Aliens Love Underpants, and it is by Claire Friedman and Ben Court. I hope you enjoy it. Aliens love underpants. Sorry. Aliens love underpants of every shape and size, but there are no underpants in space. So here's a big surprise. When aliens fly down to Earth, they don't come to meet you. They simply want your underpants. I bet you never knew. Their spaceship's radar bleeps and blinks the moment that it sees a fresh clothesline of underpants all flapping in the breeze. They land in your backyard, though they haven't been invited. Ooh, underpants, they chant and dance around delighted. They like them red, they like them green or orange like wild pumas. But best of all, they love the sight of granny spotted bloomers. Mom's pink frilly panties are a perfect place to hide. And grandpa's woolly long johns make a super whizzy slide. In daring competitions held up by just one pin, they dive into the long johns to see how many can squeeze in. They wear undies on their feet and heads and other silly places. They fly undies from their spaceship and hold funny undies races. As they go zinging through the air, it's really, it really is pantastic what fun the aliens can have with underpants elastic. It's not your neighbor's naughty dog or his owner's funny game. When underpants go missing, the aliens are to blame. But quick, mom's coming out to fetch the laundry in at last. Whee! Off the aliens zoom. They're used to leaving fast. So now you know, if your underpants go missing, it's those aliens that are responsible. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this fanciful story. Um, it's a great, uh, fun way to review rhyming words. There's a lot of rhyming uh, words in this story, so that's one way you could use it. There are also some vocabulary words you can uh, go over with your children, uh, or words that we don't normally use in our day-to-day, -day, but you can uh, certainly expose your kids to them and have them use them in a few sentences to make sure they understand. For example, the word delightful. Uh, that's a, a word that's found in this book, and we don't often say something is delightful, but uh, we can teach that uh, vocabulary word to our children as we read this story. And I'm sure there are lots of ways you can uh, use uh, this story with your children if you want to, or just enjoy it, enjoy the funniness of it. So have a great day and keep safe and watch out for those aliens. Okay, Jasper? Bye.